Hello everybody, and welcome back to Pony Boy Plays Mass Effect 2. I almost said 3 for some reason. Alright, so I need to... No, can't go through there. I need to go through here. I need to help his... Do it. <clears throat> All right, push ahead. Uh, hang on there, guys. Do it. Oh, cannot be used during curl time. Okay, uh, warp, baby girl. I doing for right, hang on all right uh warp them Oh, look at that blood. Oh, fuck. God, I love that cooldown. You know what I'm gonna do? Let's just run in there. Cool. Did I get him? Good shot. There we go. Let's see if there's anything good back here. Uh, scanning. We need to find uh, Morden's assistant. I felt like we came... Yeah, we pushed this way. That's what it was. Okay, let's move out. Oh, I picked up a bullet. Sure. Push through. Yeah, I need the money. So let's save. So white, yellow, blue. Fuck. Okay. Long white line. Two blues. And a single green. Fuck! Uh... Whew. I didn't like that. Oh. That was a whole lot of stress for nothing. Okay. Okay, there's that. 
Shit. I worked for Morden at the clinic. I came here to help you. We know you're spreading the plague virus. We saw the vials in your bag. No, those vials contain the cure. Please, you have to believe me. Go, go, go. Cut off your fingers. Now I should Don't move. One more step and we killed your friend. No, 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 no. No, we, yeah. I know you're scared of the Vorcha. The plague. But this man isn't to blame. If he was spreading the virus, why would he come into Vorcha territory? They're immune. He's right. It doesn't make any sense. That's right. You have my word on it. Yeah, there you go. See, we're cool. Are we free to go? We had a deal. Human nobility. I didn't know such a thing existed. Well, maybe pull your head out of your racist ass. Thank you. I thought they were gonna, gonna kill me. They probably were. The professor could use your help right now. He's got too many patients and not enough volunteers. Yeah, okay. I'll go right away. Thanks again. I owe you... Well, everything. Damn right you do. Alright, let's see if there's anything else for me to steal. Doesn't look like it. Take some bullets. God, I... Why are you laughing? I just murdered you. <laughs> you murdered me. <laughs> That's what I wanted. Okay, no, nothing over here. I tricked you. I want it over here. Whoa. All right, let's. Come on, put your head up. You fucking done? Okay. Push forward. Oh, Jesus. Fall back, fall back. God damn it, I hit the wrong button. Oh, God, I'm sweet. Got him in the head. Good sniper rifle. All right, Miranda, bring out that. Firing an impact shot. Okay. Uh. Get down! Good job, team. Oh, pfft, running man. It feels like I'd run 
back up there, maybe? Yeah, I just ran in a big old circle. Alright. Environmental control. Alright, let's move. Check out the boom on this sucker. Okay. I think we got this. say why the hell are the Krogan here but they'll pay you pay a Krogan anything all right so I can go that way or I can go that way it really doesn't matter should be nearby we need to insert the cure then reactivate the fans copy that Who's paying you? Then collectors make us strong. What did the collectors want? <sighs> collectors want plague. You work for Blood Pack Boom Squad. Put cure in air. We kill you first. Ah! Dude. Oh, I could just do this. down here of uh, interest just looking okay that's probably where we're going to go all right up we go and back this way We have to insert uh, insert the cure. Do it. Sniper rifle. Let's finish you off. All right. All right, situation clear. Switch up. All right, switch up. We gotta keep moving. Zaid and Miranda, you're definitely earning your stripes. <laughs> yeah, you didn't make it, did you, buddy? Oh, motherfucker! East. Good. 
God damn. Yow. Gotta keep pushing. Push forward! God damn it! Should have watched me, motherfucker. Let's see what the hand gun does here. I thought there'd be more fucking running out there. Hopefully. Oh, that's the end of the mission. Cool. Whew, those guys came out with aggression. Environmental systems engaged. Airborne viral levels dropping. Patients improving. Borcha retreating. Well done, Shepard. Thank you. And thank You're welcome. You me as well. Those Batarians would have killed me. For a second there, I thought you were going to shoot them even after they let me go. Nope. I made a promise to spare them if they let you go. I honor my promises. Merciful of you. Risky. Would have killed them myself. Professor, how can you say that? You're a doctor. You believe in helping people. Lots of ways to help people. Sometimes heal patients, sometimes execute dangerous people. Either way helps. This is true, but... Lots of ways to help. Think about what I said. Scowl face. Good kid. Bit naive. He'll learn. Letting him take over the clinic. Should be able to handle it now that Borja are gone. We've so. cured the plague. Are you ready to help stop the collectors? Yes. Unexpected to be working with Cerberus. Many surprises. Just need to finish up here at the clinic. Won't take long. Meet you at your ship. Looking forward to it. Okay. See you on the Normandy. Service funding twenty five thousand credits found thirty. Uh, total credits earned. Oh, so they fund me. Cool. Okay. I didn't know that. I'm cool with that. I'm very okay with them funding me. With the money brought over from the first Mass Effect Let's Play, and the money I find, and then the game just giving me more money. Yeah, I'm, I'm alright with that. You can never have too much money. If I was playing this on PC, I'd probably like... Would change the value to like max nine 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 nine. I totally would. Welcome to the Normandy, Professor. It's an honor to have you on board. Yes, very exciting. Cerberus working with aliens. 
Unexpected. Elusive man branching out, maybe? Not so human centric. Uh, say this? The collectors have been abducting colonists from the fringes of the terminus systems. No distress signals are sent out, no signs of attack. There's virtually no evidence that anything unusual happened at all, except that every man, woman, and child is gone. Gas, maybe? No. Spreads too slow. Airborne virus? No. Slower than gas. Drug water supply? You don't have to sit there and guess. We collected samples from one of the colonies. I'd like you to analyze them and figure out how the collectors did this. Yes, of course. Analyze the samples. I'm going to need a lab. Got one. Fully equipped lab on the combat deck, Professor Solis. If you find anything lacking, please place a requisition order. Who's that? Pilot? No. Synthesized voice. Simulated emotional inflections. Could it be? No. Maybe. Have to ask. Is that an AI? Yes. <laughs> this ship is equipped with an artificial intelligence. An AI on board? Non-human crew members? Cerberus more desperate than I thought. The collectors have taken tens of thousands of colonists. We'll do whatever we have to do to find and stop them. Yes, of course. Can't risk being captured like colonists need to identify neutralized technology. Need samples. Which way to the lab? Follow me, Professor. I like that doctor. Research. Okay. Well, maybe. Do the tech lab. Let's research. Fifty nine thousand, yeah. Do it. Okay. Armor. Do it. A prototype, huh? Got it. Do it. And heavy ammo. Do it. An avalanche. I know I'm spending a lot here, but. Sure. All right, what's happening here? Maybe give the game a catch, chance to catch up. Advanced, ooh. Uh-huh. Okay, let's. Can I learn all these? Uh, I think... Yeah, I like that. Armor upgrades. No, can't do you. Weapon upgrades, can't do you. No. Armor upgrades? No, I think we're good. Hey, Morden. Shepard, how can I help? Have you got a minute to talk? Of course. Plague on Omega dealt with plenty of time to analyze collector intelligence. Impressive laboratory setup. Missed working for operations with a budget. AI in particular, very helpful. Best setup I've seen since work with Special Tasks Group. Is your assistant Daniel settling in all right? Quite well. Safe and secure. Neighborhood mostly quiet with plague gone. Left him the security mechs just in case. Can't be too careful. That's right. Also tired of mechs. Noisy. Never used them in STG. You said you were in the special tasks group. What kind of research were you doing? 
Not simply research. Several recon missions. Covert, high risk, served under young captain named Kirihi. Studied Krogan genophage, took water, tissue samples from Krogan colonies. Huh. I worked with an SDG captain named Kirihi. His team helped me destroy Saren's cloning facility on Vermeer. Heard he was part of that. Jury rigged explosive. Mm. Always got job done with limited resources. Good captain. Bit of a cloaca, though. Love cloaca? Hold the line. Personally prefer to get job done and go home. Probably military bravado, jargon, chest pounding. Uh, no offense. Uh, say this. How would SDG study the genophage? Krogan rebellion's bloody, dangerous, nearly as bad as Rachni attacks. All species evolve, adapt, mutate. If genophage weakens, need to be prepared. What was the SDG preparing to do? Military schematics for likely Krogan population growth, political scenarios for attack points. Genophage reduced Krogan numbers. Species aggression unchecked, population explosion would be disastrous. STG helped check Krogan rebellions. Needed to be ready to do the same. Simple recon, nothing to worry about. Uh-huh, well... What can you tell me about the genophage? Bioweapon designed by Solarian science team. Deployed by Turians against Krogans to end Krogan rebellions more than a thousand years ago. Affects every cell of Krogan body. Commonly and incorrectly considered a sterility play. Actually adjusts viable fertility rates to compensate for high Krogan birth rate. Stabilizes to pre-industrial population growth levels. Okay, so here here's the thing. Is people were saying, because Krogans have a high birth rate, and they were lifted to fight the Rachni. I'm trying to remember the story. And now he's saying, well, it's not that bad. I mean, it was just pre, pre-industrial. It's fine. Don't worry about it. Hmm. Nice talking with you, Morden. I should get back to work. Need to study. So much data. Here if you need me. And I'm here if you need me, my friend. Alright, let's... Run over here. Kelly? Morden's psych profile warned of hyper behavior, but he is like a hamster on coffee. He's gonna be a very productive member of the team. Anyway... How may I help you, Commander? That'll be all. I just want to hear her opinion. Alright, uh... Oh, no, I just... Oh, that's not what I wanted. Here we go. And the cat's forcing himself on me. <laughs> Hi, baby kitty. Uh... Normandy upgrades. What's this? Thoughts on how to prepare against the collectors? They spec this ship to the original Normandy, but you were there. The collectors cut her like butter. This armor just isn't top of the line anymore. People will die if we don't upgrade. Alliance had some new toys in secret dev before I left. I could try and pull a few favors. As I stretch out my neck. Ship enhancements. Fifty-seven thousand. I got fifteen thousand. Normandy upgrade. The Asari made Solaris army upgrade is attached to the ship's superstructure. This will help to if it's hit by uh, to penetrate shield. Here's the thing: is doing all this stuff actually helps with an event later on. So there's a, so this is well worth the purchasing. So yes. Commander, can I help you with something? Uh, Any thoughts on how to prepare against the collectors? We've got the best armor available. The rest is outside my expertise, Commander. Okay, cool. Um, I'm more interested in just talking. Sounds about good. It. Have to say, you run this ship tight, and we're getting things done. If we keep on track, and maybe we'll figure this out. I hope so. I'm not looking forward to the debrief if it all goes to hell. Is there something specific, or are you just checking in? Nah, uh, say this, yeah. Know my crew. Forget procedure. Tell me about yourself. Informal, huh? Everything's in my file. Ex-Alliance like you, no reapers or anything, but I got swept under the rug, too. The more good you do, the less they want to admit that something needed doing. You're still in top shape. Like that you take a st took a stand. You lost a good man. You look like you came through no worse for wear. If nothing else, the Alliance trains their people well. Once you live that life, you can't sit around getting fat. You know how it goes. Although I bet Cerberus put you back together better than ever. Get any upgrades? 
Say this. I'm glad enough they restored me to stuff. Couldn't hurt to keep some spare parts handy, though. I hear that. Your job isn't getting any safer. You know, I used to wonder what the big deal with you was. But now that we're in deep, I'm glad it's not me in the spotlight. But you're kind of in the secret. Not for any of us. Don't worry. This is exactly what I signed on for. Is it, though? I'll get back to my duties. There's a lot to get ready. Alright, so... Solarius Armor Tech. Quite cool, quite cool. Alright, I'm going to... Let's check out these weapons. So now I got an arc projector, a missile launcher, a grenade launcher. Let's try the avalanche. Uh, damn it. Okay, switch it up. I always hit the wrong fucking button. Use that. Zaid, you're cool, but you're gonna stay back. Uh, Jacob. Alright, Morden. Okay. There we go. I should probably talk to. Miranda. See, this is, or it tells you where everybody is. That's good. Let's check out the. Let's check this out before we go get more crew members. Maybe she'll have some uh, upgrades for me. Life support. Okay, so there's a. Go on ahead. Oh, oh. I'm glad they have a washroom. Nope. Uh. Chef surprise again. Come on, Rupert. I'm sorry, Princess. Filet mignon and caviar coming right up. Let me just get out my doilies. Come in. How you doing, sir? The hero of the Citadel. You did humanity proud that day. As Sergeant Rupert Gardner here. How can I be of service? Okay. Uh. What do you do here on the Normandy? What don't I do? Most think of me as the ship's cook. But I'm also the facilities technician and custodian. HVAC, plumbing, non-mission critical electrical. I make sure they're all clean and running. So the man cleaning the toilets is also preparing the meals. I wash my hands. Most of the time. This ain't no luxury liner. <laughs> you have to pull your own weight in a Cerberus vessel. And I catch what falls through the cracks. <laughs> through the cracks. <laughs> uh, How do you feel about working for Cerberus? Damn proud. Cerberus gets the job done. The Alliance and Council have got their heads buried so deep up their butt puckers they can't see. Their butt squat. puckers? It'll take good old human ingenuity to crush these collector vermin. Only Cerberus knows that. Right. Find a way into Cerberus. Can you believe I was once a family man working the Ezo rigs along the frontier? I was happy enough, but losing everything to Batarian Raiders can change your outlook. Damn. To make a difference. I'm no soldier, but I've got skills, and Cerberus keeps an eye out for talent. I'll do whatever it takes to help. Be that plumbing a sewer, routing an air duct, or keeping everyone's bellies full. Well, that's cool. You need. I make do, but have you ever tried to prepare a decent meal with military provisions? I'm good, but I'm no miracle worker. Taking down the collectors is going to be... You know who, you know who this guy reminds me of? Neelix from Star Trek Voyager. They throw themselves into the fire. 
What do you need? If I had some quality ingredients... Oh, shit. You've got more to worry about than grocery shopping on the Citadel. Forget I mentioned it. Well... That way, I'll keep an eye out. Much appreciated. Most of this list is probably standard fare for those namby pambies on the Citadel. Anything else you'd like to talk about? Uh, no, we're good, bud. Back to work. No, I can't go that way. Uh, must go. No, it's missing. Restroom. Talk to Jacob. Okay, so here I am. Oh, Coos Quarters. Here we go. Oh, she's a cutie. How old? Ah, uh, she'll be a year old next month. Oh, you'll miss her first birthday. Well, my family lives in New Canton. Oh, uh, that colony's on the edge of the frontier. Could be vulnerable to collector attack, couldn't it? Exactly. It's most important that she have a first birthday. That's why I'm here. Okay. No, you're not here in cruise quarters. Hello? No, that's star. No, we don't want that. Well, where the fuck is she? Because that's the men's washroom. Medical lab. Doctor Chark, <gasps> Doctor. I watched the Normandy crumble with you on board. It's good to see you alive. Yeah. Good to see a familiar face, Doctor. I feel the same. I wish more of the original crew could be here. The kind of trauma you endured would have changed most people, but not you. I see. Welcome back, Shepard. Doctor, you've been with the Alliance for years. Why leave now? After the Normandy was lost, the surviving crew was reassigned. I was stationed at the Mars Naval Medical Center. A very respectable position, but it wasn't on a starship. Uh, colonial military life isn't for you? I've spent most of my life on warships, never knowing what the next mission might bring. I'm used to the hum of engines, the creaking of bulkheads, that subtle vertigo when the momentum dampeners kick in. Life planet side is just too static, too boring. You're not the Cerberus type, Doctor. I don't work for Cerberus. I work for you. Nice. A mission that may be crucial to the survival of the human race. I have faith that your dealings with Cerberus will be ethical. I trust you, Commander. There's a very good chance this mission will be a one-way trip. Could be. Are you prepared for that? I've been through the reclaiming of Shanxi, the Skellian Blitz. We survived the Battle of the Citadel and the destruction of the Normandy together. I've lived a full life. No regrets. I'd like to make sure the crew gets the same opportunity. Do you have everything you need? I believe so. This medical bay seems very much like the sick bay on the original Normandy. Only but... the missing are my private reserves. I even had a bottle of Ceres ice brandy that I was saving for a special occasion. <laughs> I'll keep an eye out for a replacement bottle. Oh, you needn't. It's expensive, and we have much larger concerns ahead. Well, if I see you, I'll let you know. I'll see you later, Doctor. Commander. Access to the AI core is restricted. It's my fucking ship! Where in the hell? Miranda's office. God damn it. Miranda? Commander, what can I do for you? Do you have a minute, Miranda? No doubt you've got a lot of questions. So for sure. You look cool. Most people believe. If I can help allay any of your concerns, I'd be happy to do so. So, what would you like to know? Uh, well... Tell me about yourself, Miranda. Oh, I guess that's fair. I've spent the last two years learning everything there is to know about you. Well, See? you should probably know that I've had extensive genetic modification. <gasps> decisions that are not the 
for most of us. It's one of the reasons the elusive man handpicked me. I'm very good at just about anything I choose to do. Really? What level of genetic modification are we talking about? That's very thorough. Physically, I'm superior in many ways. I heal quickly and I'll likely live half again as long as the average human. My biotic abilities are also very advanced. For a human. Uh-huh. Well, that's not cocky. Money can buy and, well, it's pretty impressive, really. Sounds like you were designed to be perfect. Uh, maybe, but I'm not. I'm still human, Shepard. I make mistakes like everyone else. And when okay. consequences are severe. Everyone expects a lot from someone with my abilities. Thanks for the information, Miranda. I'll talk to you later. Of course, Commander. Whatever you need. Oh, I wanted to talk more. Commander, what can I do for you? Already status. If you hear something, Dragon, that's the baby upstairs playing. Uh, what about this? A few ideas, yeah. Yeah, take a look. Alright, ship enhancements. What does this do? The Norman represents the cutting edge of Cerberus fleet technology, but further improvements are possible. Can you say and could assist you in succeeding in missions. Advanced Mineral Scanner. The Hydro Group's Protair... Protair... Oh, I can't even say that word. Argus Plan Scan Systems. Indicated Ship Systems. Currently speed up. Okay, let's do it. Commander, what can I do for you? Anything I should know regarding the Normandy? The crew's working well, and the ship appears to be performing to specifications. What exactly are your duties, aside from keeping an eye on me? I'm the elusive man's agent. You're his most important asset. My job is to make sure you succeed. Aside from that, I send regular reports to the elusive man, updating our status. You have a minute, Miranda? There's a lot to do, Shepard. Maybe another time. Okay. I'll let you work. Of course, Commander. Sweet. Okay. So now I know where her office is after exploring. And now, start to Zaid. He's a cool guy. I can't believe I spent most of this episode just talking to people, but that is what happens when you play an RPG, or at least when I play an RPG, is I constantly want to talk to characters. And my phone just went off. Now, is he in here? Oh, hi there. You came all the way down here to see us? You're speaking to our commanding officer. I'm uh, sure. Ship, getting to know my crew. I'm Engineer Ken Donnelly, handling the power control systems. This is Gabby. That's Engineer Gabriella Daniels, actually. I'm responsible for the propulsion systems. What can we do for you, Commander? Uh. Where did you receive your training? Both Gabby and I started in the Alliance, serving on the SSV Perugia. She flew in the first wave at the Battle of the Citadel. We saw Sovereign firsthand. Uh, How did you sure. work with Cerberus, Ken? Once you were gone, the Alliance brass descended like vultures, tearing apart everything you'd said. I was very public with my defense for you. I didn't hold back. That's an understatement. If Kenneth wasn't such a talented engineer, they'd have court-martialed him for insubordination. That's but not I good. Noticed by the elusive man. He made an offer, and here I am. So why did you join, Gabby? Kenneth and I have been partners in crime since we graduated from Tech Academy. When he got the Cerberus offer, I insisted that it include me. He'd fall apart without me. Thanks, Mum. <laughs> Normandy is state of the art. When I got the opportunity to work on her, I had to jump. Okay, so there is a training. Where did you receive your training? Both Gabby and I started in the... Oh, God damn it. ...first wave of the Battle of the Citadel. We saw Sovereign firsthand. What do you think about Cerberus? Actually, we don't know much about the organization other than the Normandy team. We know our mission and who's in charge. We're off to kick the Collectors right in the daddy bags. Right in the daddy bags? 
turn. Anything? Set up okay down here? We can't complain. I just wish it didn't take so long to calibrate the FBA arrays. Kenneth, you're complaining. What kind oh, of problems yeah. are you having? When they upgraded the Normandy design, they got a bit sloppy with the FBA couplings. I won't bore you with the tech, but there's an array of attenuators in the primary power transfer system that channels the field fleet. Kenneth, you're boring the commander with tech. In short, <laughs> if we had T6 FBA couplings installed, it'd save us a lot of maintenance time this year. Why is something like that already installed? It's probably just a design oversight. Efficiency isn't affected. It's a maintenance issue. Also, the T6 model can be hard to find. Nash and Stellar Dynamics discontinued them. We could probably find used ones in the Omega markets, but we have no time for shore leave. I'll see what I can do. Carry on. Well do, Commander. I'm amazed ship in case down I'm a cool captain. I don't no he no not down here though this area here uh we will be visiting later so just to show you that let's see here um oh i just ran a big circle didn't i oh yeah What the hell was that? Ah, oh, Jesus. Okay, uh, that scared me. Okay, just a message from the f off Facebook. Jesus Murphy. Okay, um, maybe. Access to this room is currently oh. restricted. Okay, that's the engineer's room. I don't want that. That's the elevator room. Starboard cargo? So I'm just running around in circles? That's my boy, right there. Tell me some stories. Ride that off the Krogan warlord, Kazak. Used to run the blood pack out of Omega about 17 years ago. Wasn't even a job. The guy just thought he'd hijack a freighter and was hitchhiking on him. Big mistake. I goaded Gizak into one-on-one -on -one combat. Took out his legs, grabbed his gun, and killed every blood pack bastard in the room. That was the most beaten Krogan I've ever seen. Kept the helmet to remind me of that pained expression. Thinking about past missions. Got a minute. You might learn something. I might. I was trying to remember how many Cerberus operatives I've killed. Lost track around 50. Jesus. Guess your elusive man's big on forgiveness. Get a knife stuck in the right way, and you can pull that plate right off a Krogan's head. It's the best way to get a Krogan to talk. A thread of it drives him mad. Jesus, all right. I should let you go. Talk more later, Shepard. Tell me about this gun. That rifle's older than you are. Okay, for sure. That's my lucky charm. Hi, Jesse. I've been killed with that gun, then died in the Skillian Blitz. The day I laid her to rest was the saddest day of my life. I'd give up every weapon I own for one more mission with that shitty old rifle. Oh, tell me, uh, tell me about this, bud. American. Turian frigate. Hell of a ship. I led a mission to bring that thing down from the inside with just five men and whatever guns we could bring. No chance of success, but we did it. Everyone died but me. So I made out like a bandit. My first impossible mission as an independent contractor. There's been many since, but nothing so goddamn sweet as watching that Turian warship crash planet side. Cool. Okay. Oh, I just wanted to see what you're doing. I do believe that was everybody. 
Okay, let's bring it back up here. AKA the loading screen. Low on clips. Switch to another weapon, or use your powers until you find more. Fair enough. That makes sense. Commander, you've received a new message at your private terminal. Okay. Unread messages? Healing of your facial scars. Chief Medical, I've done further investigation regarding your facial scarring, and the old adage of mind over matter holds true. Negative attitudes and aggressive acts create adverse reactions to your subnetic implants, while peaceful thoughts and compassionate actions promote healing. If you maintain a positive outlook, I believe your facial scarring will heal on its own. Otherwise, I believe your facial scarring will heal on its own. Uh, otherwise, there's surgical equipment we could use to insulate your could, uh, regardless, yada, 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 for the new, uh, okay. Un oh, shit. Unread messages. Special armor. Okay, cool. Uh, I'll worry about that stuff later. What I want to do... Let's head back to Yeah, we'll leave orbit. I think there's recruit Archangel. Yeah, let's do that. Let's do that. But who could Archangel be? Oh, I can skip cups, uh, cutscenes? I didn't know I could do that. God damn it. Alright, whatever. Oh, cats meowing everywhere. I have a cat meowing upstairs. I have a cat meowing here. Alright, so adding you... Adding you. You guys get some uh, screen time. Oh, you know what? Damn, I want I want to change armor. Judging by the quarantine reports, the plague has been completely eradicated, Shepard. Dr. Solis's assistant has been helping any patients with complications. Excellent. Knew he could do it. Okay, cool, but I want to change armor. Alright. Big waste of time. <laughs> well, at least we're not going to start anything new. But I'm pretty sure, yeah, you, you got to go back on the Normandy to change your armor. So that's what I want to do. Give the blood armor, you know. The blood armor is awesome. But, uh, switch it up, you know? Keep things fresh. Also, it took a lot of damage, so I'm going to roleplay that it's getting repaired on the ship. Uh. Alright, heading up. To my private cabin. I don't like that one. That's a 
headshot where for a ghost reduced transparent vision and fade of reinforced plate face plate with an internal heads up display. Okay. I'm just reading right quick. Let's go with Yeah, let's go with that. Bring it. Okay. So head back. And then we'll end the episode being back at the, um, uh, Omega. Brain starting to melt. I've been playing this game, this is like my third or fourth hour straight. No messages for you, Commander. Okay. Okay. Skip that. So boom. And boom. And boom. Pressing X as soon as it... Did I do it right? Okay. So I got four points. Spending them all on there. I could be a commando or shock trooper. Uh, your killing intent is ever present. Increasing weapon damage and storm speed. Giving you a bonus. Because the follow instinct grants you... An intense concentration for further increased weapon damage to storm speed, as well as a duration bonus to powers. Power duration 15%. Paragon 70. Paragon 100. Storm speed. Eh, weapon damage. Eh, eh. Well, you know what? I like that one. I just commander, which I was last time. Damage is a little less, but my Paragon Renegade goes way up, so. Shock Trooper. Alright, you are a Solarian Scientist. So. Fuck. There you go. You'll get four next time. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to take care of that. But it will have to be done next time. Or next time when Pony Boy plays, well, uh, we... Crying baby in the background, in case you can't hear him. I know I can hear him. Uh, we'll, we'll look for this Archangel. And we will see if he can join our team to help save the galaxy next time on Pony Boy plays Mass Effect 2.